Hello once again, and welcome to another episode of Simply Making. This video is a continuation from the Simply Electronics Basics video, Voltage Dividers. So let's go ahead and actually make a voltage divider on a breadboard. So if you saw the previous video, you will know that we need a minimum of two resistors. To start off with, I need to choose a random value resistor. To make it easy, I've chosen a 10 ohm resistor. Now I have a 10 ohm resistor on the breadboard. I need to calculate what the second resistor should be. I know that my power supply is a 5 volt power supply, so I need a resistor which will drop 3 volts, and the other resistor should drop 2 volts, which means I can then take the 3 volts from across resistor 2. So to calculate what resistor 2 should be in order to drop 3 volts across it, I need to use the equation that was featured in the voltage dividers basics video. The equation I stated was that resistor 2, which is the resistor we require, is equal to resistor 1, which I have chosen as 10 ohms, times the desired voltage out. So resistor 1, 10 ohms, times the desired voltage out, which is 3 volts, so 10 times 3 is 30, divided by voltage in, which is uh, 5 volts coming into the breadboard here, minus my desired voltage out. So in this case, the resistance of resistor 2 will be equal to 10 times 3 divided by the sum of 5 minus 3, which gives us the result of 15 ohms. And just so conveniently, I have a 15 ohm resistor. I've connected the second resistor in series with the first resistor. So the only thing left to do now is to connect all of these together. So I'm going to start by connecting resistor 1 to the positive rail, and then I will connect resistor 2 to the negative rail. So this circuit is now complete, and there will be current flowing through these resistors. Just to demonstrate, I have a voltmeter here, which allows me to measure the voltage in the circuit. If I put the voltmeter across both of these resistors, you can see there on the side, I've got a total of 4.9 volts. It's giving me 4.9 volts because there is a little bit of voltage loss across the resistors because of the dissipated power. So let's see if our voltage divider has actually worked. If I put a voltmeter across resistor 1, you can see there I have approximately 2 volts dropped across it, which is the result that I wanted. I have a 5 volt power supply, so hopefully, in this case, resistor 2 is dropping 3 volts across it. Let's have a look. And as you can see there, I have about 2.9 volts across resistor 2. There are some slight inaccuracies with the resistor, and with the power supply, and also some voltage drop in the circuit due to the power being dissipated. So you will find that in the real life, your results may not be exactly the same, but in this case, 2.9 volts will do. So I hope you were able to follow along with me. If you like this video, do subscribe for more upcoming videos, give it a thumbs up, and leave your comments below.